I don't like it. Stop. You guys are making me look bad. Get out of there. That's disgusting. I want fast. What's going on, everybody? I'm Juan, and I'm here at the House of Glory Wrestling School in Brooklyn, New York, joined by the amazing Ray. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm How you good, doing? man. We're here to find out what a professional wrestling trainer does. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Do that again. That make my role spiffy. But before we get to that, tell me a little about you, man. What's your background? Where you been? How long you been doing this? I uh, started wrestling at the age of 16. Me and a couple of cousins of mine, we went to this, uh, this show they had in Long Island. And then we saw somebody do a running, and it was Mikey Whipwreck. We pulled him over at the end of the show, and we asked him if he could please train us. We were the, the last group of the House of Hardcore, which was ECW school at the time. We did a CZW, Combat Zone Wrestling. Uh, we did ROH, Ring of Honor, when it first started. Started from there until TNA found me and gave me a call when they first started. And that, to me, was like me making it. From when you first started training to today, how many years have you put into your career so far? I would say 18. Cool. 18 years doing this. All right, so what they're doing now is chain wrestling. Uh -huh. And uh, usually a lot of them don't like this because it's very repetitive. And, but this is how you become good. Everybody does chain wrestling. Like, if you wrestle in Japan or Mexico, it's, it's very universal. In between spots, they, they talk, you know, and, and, and with, with chain wrestling, you're not supposed to talk. I hate I hated doing this. <laughs> when we were Mikey, I was like, oh again. Now today you're the head trainer here at House of Glory. Walk me through a typical day here of you training these okay. guys. We always do basics, 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 basics. That's like the foundation you need to become a professional wrestler. Being an entertainer, getting into the feelings of the people, you know, bringing them in, which is the, the key thing of wrestling, you know. All right, stop. Uh, it's this much of a, of a, of a difference be, be in between breaking something and then working it, right? Ankles don't like stretch all the way. Ankles get to a certain point and then they pop. Everything, submissions and wrestling also is very real. It's that much of a difference between wrestling and working it and then just breaking it. So our biggest thing here is taking care of the person that you're wrestling. If you're worried about yourself and being selfish, no one's gonna wanna wrestle you, no one's gonna care about it, and you're gonna, be, you're gonna disappear. But if you guys are focused on helping each other, and having each other like want to do a good match, you guys are gonna be here for a long time, so. What's like some of the things you emphasize every single day that you feel is essential to not only be, you know, get to a certain point in their career, but just to be a professional wrestler, period? <laughs> It's very, it's very tricky nowadays because uh, wrestling changes so much and it evolves that I try to evolve with it. The crowd's very tricky nowadays. It's like having a girlfriend, you know, and asking her what you want to eat. So what I do with them is that I train them to be good in everything. So whenever the crowd is uh, trying to pick and decide, they're going to be on point. So walk me through like a typical day here at one of your classes, like how from start to finish, like what, what's your regimen like? Okay, first when they walk in, we do a light workout, we get into chain wrestling, and then from there we start doing some spots, run the ropes, drop down, leave for all cardio drills. Good, next. And then um, from there I teach vocally, and then we uh, head out. Everybody got on the apron, everybody on the apron on the outside. I'm gonna show you how they fast chain wrestle, how fast that blows them up. I want fast chain wrestling. What you were doing, but almost like no cell in between. Remember I told you guys, one second, reverse. All right, Absolutely. first two people get inside. Bruce, hurry up, Bruce, come on. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Get him, Bruce. He can't chain wrestle, I don't know why he's there. Get him, Bruce, chain wrestle. I said quick, 30 seconds, quick. Right away, right away. One second, reverse, one second, reverse. Now this they're one not is talking, right? This no, is all... all feeling. And they have like a one second thinking window. Uh, just trying to work on their brain power as much. That's why I told them, take fish oil. <laughs> <laughs> fish oil works. Everything in here is a struggle, just like life. That's why I love pro wrestling. Everything in here from hitting the ropes, that's something as easy as hitting the ropes. It took me almost a year to run the ropes good. Uh, how you get thrown, how you bump, 
how do you know when a certain guy is like advancing, getting better, and ready to put on, let's say, a match at one of your independent shows? The way I see it is how hungry they are. I understand you came from work. I understand you came from school. I understand you came from babysitting all five of your kids. But when you come here, that has to shut off and you have to leave that outside. And if you're not ready to give it up to pro wrestling like that, then you're in the wrong business. How many females do you get that come in and quit or come in and stay? Like what's the, obviously the ratio as you can see is like 15 to one. That's like four or five that we have. Some of them come in here and I just want them to know wrestling is very touchy. A lot of girls might not like that. So I just have to remind them that if you're one of those girls that just don't feel that and wrestling's not for you because this is gonna happen. And you're gonna get put in matches with guys and they're gonna beat you up. I can't baby the girls, you know? Awesome. They actually hit the hardest that we have. Nice. Yeah. Oh! How long do you think it would take any of these guys to get to a point where they have everything put together? I don't want, I don't want them to know, but I'm still putting things together now. So I don't think you're never gonna get up to that point until you're like almost Ric Flair, Ric Flair's age or maybe. What's your favorite part about being a trainer? Just being here with them and they, they make me like feel alive. They make me feel like, like not wanted, but they make me feel like I'm here for a reason. Sure. I, I, did, I went through what I went through for them. If I don't get to make it and they make it, I'm, I'm just as fine. And uh, I'm, I'm happy. This is like a job that I'm happy to do. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, man. Thank you, thank you so much for having us. Thank, thank you, you no for problem. showing me yes. what you do. Now we know what the fuck a pro wrestling trainer does. How can they get in touch with you guys to join a class? You guys can go to www.hogwrestling.net. And uh, yeah, man, check out HOG Wrestling. If you're in New York, please check out their shows. They're awesome. I've been to a couple of them. Please support indie wrestling. And thank you guys. Thank you. Not bad.